This is what happens when your website tries to send an email out to some other email server. Maybe you have an e-commerce site and you want to send an email receipt out or someone leaves a comment and you want to send a notification to them or just any kind of email that goes out of your website. This right here is exactly what, what happens. Uh, hi, I'd like to send a message to someone on your service. Who the hell are you? And that's why none of your emails are actually making it to the people you're trying to send them to from your website. So I'm going to show you how to fix this. It's actually quite easy. I'm going to show you how to do it in this video. Now, if useful videos like this on how to get your stuff working right is something that you want to be notified from for in the future, remember to click on the subscribe button, click on that notification bell. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and log in to a WordPress website. I got it right here here and what we need to do is add what's known as an SMTP plugin so that makes it so when you send an email out of your website it will go through a proper email server what happens is when your website tries to send out an email the receiver of that email has all these verifications and checks and essentially doesn't know who the heck you are and nothing on the pathway of how that email got there makes any kind of sense to them. They throw up suspicion. They may never deliver the email or will end up in spam. Simple fix, use an SMTP plugin, and I'm going to show you how to create an email account to configure into it. It's so easy. So I'm going to go to plugins, add new, and we're just going to do a search for SMTP. Now there's a bunch of SMTP plugins. The one that you use doesn't really matter that much. There's little differences between them. However, I'm going to choose this one right here, WP Mail SMTP by WP Forms. I happen to use this on a couple of my websites. So let's go ahead, download and activate this plugin. But there's a bunch, they all pretty much do the same thing. Now when you activate it, there is a new option underneath settings and I'm gonna click on it, WP SMTP mail. So the first thing you want to do here is plug in what you want the from email address to be. So this is the when the person receives the email, who's it gonna be from? So you can push that there and then from name, you're probably going to not want to have it be the name of your website. So for me, what I like to do is put Adam at WP Crafter for everything. There we have it right there. Now we need to choose how's this email gonna go out? from here. So this is the default and this is why none of your emails are making it through on your contact forms or any of that. And we have these four options. So you can use Google to connect it into a Gmail account. You could use Mailgun, SendGrid, but most likely you're going to probably want to use other SMTP. So you're going to want to choose that. And then down here, what you want to do is put in your SMTP host. And then right here, we need to turn on authentication and you're probably going to need to turn uh, to enter a SMTP username and password. You're probably thinking, where the heck do I get that from? Well, you're in luck. I'm going to show you with basic cPanel type hosting, but I'm going to use SiteGround specifically, but it's going to look the same with all the various web hosting companies that you might use as long as they use cPanel. Okay, so I'm going to log in, click on my accounts, and then there's going to be this option here that says go to cPanel. So and then I'm just going to proceed. So you're going to want to get to the cPanel of your web hosting account. Okay. And then you're going to want to scroll down to where it says email accounts. Alternatively, there's going to be a search option right here where you could start typing in the word email and it should filter these for you. We're going to go to email accounts right here. And what we need to do is create an email account to send emails out from your website. It's super easy. So my domain is let's create a website.com. And so why don't I make these emails go out from the email address support? What you choose doesn't matter. This is an email account though that you're creating. It could be support at or hello at or any of those types of email addresses, whatever you want there. And then go ahead and create a password that you're going to be able to remember. We're going to need this for that username and password that we just saw. Okay, so I've gone ahead and put my password in. I'm going to click on create account 
account and voila, it has created it. I have a new account listed right here. And what I could do is where it says more, if I click on this, there's an option here that says configure email client. This is where you're gonna get all of those settings that we need to just copy and paste. It's really just three things. So let's see what we have here. I have my secure settings right here and my unsecure. We're gonna roll with our secure settings and all we really need is those three items. We need the outgoing server. We need the username and the password which we just created. So I'm gonna copy what it lists here for the server into my clip board and I'm gonna go back and here it is the SMTP host I'll put that there now for you it might be different it might be mail dot the URL the website it might be something specific to your hosting you just need to copy and paste what it tells you to copy and paste there and so we're, we're using the secure one right here so it says SSL so I'm gonna choose SSL it changes this port number see how it says 465 right here it says 465 and I need to turn on this auto TS TLS like that and again we'll put on our authentication now we just need to copy and paste our username. So I've got my username right here, which is the email address. I'm gonna paste that in, and I'm gonna enter that password that I created just a moment ago. Okay, and there's one last thing I need to do before saving. The from email should be the same email address that we just created. In this case, it's not Adam at WP Crafter. It is that support at let's create a website. Okay, so I've got my email, I've got my name, I chose this, I've got my server, my security settings, and yours might be different, the security settings, they could all be a little different. My email and my password, I can click on save settings, click on email test, now let's see if this works. So I can put any email in here for this test email to go out, that's the right email, I'll click on send email, and this is letting me know that the test was sent successfully. So let me look on my phone and see, oh, there it is. Probably hard to see, let's see there, it doesn't matter. Uh, all I know is that it says congrats, test email was sent successfully. Perfect, all right, and that's it. So now what's gonna happen is from now on, whenever an email is sent out from my website, it's gonna go out this way. And when the other email server sees this email come in, it's going to trust that email and it's going to let it pass through. And this is why most emails that go out of your website are ending up in a spam folder and not delivered at all. And this is gonna solve the problem with e-commerce websites, sending receipts, sending account notifications, contact forms, every website that has a contact form needs this. That's why a contact form company makes this. Um, uh, when someone leaves a comment on your website, if you have a learning platform, any email that goes out from your website, every website has to have a tool like this in, unless you want that email server on the other side to say, who the heck are you? You're not coming in. Uh, anyways, that's all I have for you in this video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Click on the subscribe button. Click on that notification bell. If you have comments, ask me down below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.